This weekend will spring forward, setting the clocks ahead by an hour for daylight saving time. But there's growing debate about whether we should stop changing the clocks altogether. As health editor Dr. Maria Simber explains, part of this has to do with whether messing up the time is shortening our time on Earth. Which do you like better? The way we set our clocks in the winter or for the summer? I like the summer because it, it brightens everybody up. I like to go out and see the sunrise in the morning before it's too late. I prefer in the winter. It gets darker quicker. When you wake up, you go to work, it's dark, and you come home, and it's also dark. I wish the time would just stay. <laughs> no time change. As we spring forward to daylight saving time each year, for eight months, we have more sunshine for late day activities. But this clock adjustment is hard on the body in two ways. One is the time change itself. We were designed to wake up with the sunlight and sleep with the sunset. The human body is designed for a gradual lengthening and shortening of days with the seasons, not a disruptive one-hour shift. Autopsy studies point to more events, hazardous to your health, occurring around the time of the switch, both spring and fall. Especially in spring is more a problem because uh, that leads to sleep deprivation, so it can lead to increase in accidents the next day, increased cardiac events, increased strokes even more suicide. The other way the time change is hard on the body is its muddling of body rhythms. In standard time, the four months in the winter when the clocks sink the way nature intended, the sun is directly overhead at noon. So the science is in favor of standard time. It's more close to our biological clock. In the part of the brain called the hypothalamus, the body's internal clock keeps time in response to light hitting the back of the eye. Through the brain's many connections, this influences alertness through areas in the brainstem and, as light subsides, increases the release of the sleep hormone melatonin from the pineal gland. With the introduction of artificial light, humans have further rattled the natural cues for sleeping and waking. Considering the time change started as a legislative action to save energy, should it be legislated out to save lives? So there's a lot of politics involved and a lot of economy involved. The clock should be left alone to the old time and just stay there. I think we should be do away with it. If you want to change it ahead, that's good, spring ahead. Alaska and Hawaii already do not observe daylight saving time. But keeping time winter's way could be a hard sell for people who enjoy those lighter later summer evenings. I'm Dr. Maria Simbra, KDKA News.